Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Express node framework. Um, Express kind of came out back in the day as like, uh, kind of took over as the number one uh, HTTP framework for Node. Uh, it's pretty minimal, it's really easy to get started with, and I still think to this day it's got the best support, as in it has the most users, so there's a lot of help on Stack Overflow or um, you know just Googling around online. So we covered uh, an intro to Happy.js on a different video, um, so I kind of wanted to just do this one to give a little bit of perspective so you can see where they're similar, where they're different, um, and as we continue building things with these two different frameworks, you can maybe have an easier time choosing which one you'd like to use in your own projects. Uh, so it installs via NPM, just like Happy.js. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here into my code folder. I'm going to make a new project and call it Express uh, Project. And I'm going to CD into it. And we've got nothing in here, so I'm going to do that NPM init. Uh, for those that haven't done that before, it's just Node's way of generating a package.json, uh, and we'll take a look at that later. But basically, you just fill out like your project name, what version, a little description, what is the entry point file, what runs your tests, Git repository, a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to leave them all blank for now and just put it in there. So what that does is at the end, it generates this file, package.json, and if I open that up, we can kind of see that it's just this like JSON blob that has all that information in it. Obviously, if you're making a production app, you'd want to fill this in with um, the appropriate data. But what it allows us to do is then, after we've got this set up, we can go back here, uh, and we can run this npm install command. So it's npm install express, and we put dash dash save on it. So that's going to go out and fetch the package and install it for us locally. Um, but the other thing that it's going to do, if we go back into our package JSON, now we can see here on line 12, we have this dependency of Express. And so what this allows you to do is if I like push this project to GitHub and you pulled it down, all you'd have to do is run npm install and it would know to go out and fetch this specific version of Express. All right, so we've got those things set up. So now we've got node modules, which inside of it we have our Express project, and we've got a package.json. And so then the last thing we got to do here is we got to make our actual, you know, index file. So I'm going to call mine index.js. And what we want to do is we want to require uh, Express. Common with all of our node projects, we'll start off by requiring them into our index file. Uh, so there we go. Var express equals require Express, and then. Express itself returns a function here, and so in order to get an app started, uh, this is a little bit different than Happy's API. We actually just need to uh, call it as a function. So a common thing that I see is people do like var app or something like that, or var server equals, and then you actually here run Express. And now this app object that we get back has all these cool methods on it. So. Um, what we'll want to do, I'm going to go down here a little bit, and we're going to start up, I guess a lot of people call this the server. So this is like according to their documentation. Uh, and that is going to be the app listening. And then you put in a port, like 1337. And then you put in a function. This is optional. Um, and so what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to maybe console log something, you know, some way to tell the user that the server has started. So on their docs, they have this thing where they get like the host name. Uh, which you can call with server.address.address, .address, and then you can also get the port that it's listening on, and you can do that with server.address.port. So now you've got these two things, and then they'll do something like they'll console log out something that says, uh, you know, your app is running at, and then they'll do HTTP colon slash slash, and then they'll do these escape strings here one and two that's percent s and what you can do with those is after you close the string you can pass in these now escaped and safe parameters uh, it's just a stylistic thing there uh okay cool and then they close it out like this so now you've got like this app that listens on port 1337 and it tells the user hey your app is running uh, it's ready to do something so if we quit out here and we node index.js uh, sure enough it's like your app is running at and then it's just empty localhost 1337 so if I click on that to open it and we go here, we just got this absolute blank page. So we don't really have anything bootstrapped yet. Nothing's set up and ready to go. So the, the last thing that we're going to need is we're going to go back into this index file and we're just going to create a route. Um, a route is just basically any HTTP endpoint that people can hit. So for the first route, the very default route will always, in all these different frameworks, look like this, look like a, just a slash. Um, and so it's like when a get request is sent to just the home page, what do we do? 
and so the second parameter is a function, and that function returns two variables, a request and a response. And so, for example, we could send something like response send, and then we can put a string in here. Hello world, something like that. Uh, and then we can close it off like this. And so now when we have the app running and we hit this default endpoint, it'll actually send a response of hello world. So let's close it back out again, run node on it again, it's running. We'll go back here and we'll refresh. Ah, something's broken. Let me see what's going on here. We got no page source there. Oh, it's not broken, it's just on the wrong. It was at about dot blank for some reason. Okay, cool, so there we go. We go to localhost 1337 and we get hello world. Um, so from here you can kind of go back in and you could add a bunch of different routes if you want. So we could like take one here um, and we could say if you post to slash goodbye, maybe instead, I know I'm very creative, it says goodbye world this time. Uh, so we'll save that, run it. We'll go back and we'll refresh. It says hello world just like we wanted. And then we'll go to slash goodbye and it changes to goodbye world. So that's like the very beginnings, like your very first app with Express.js. Uh, from there, they have some really great documentation on all the cool stuff you can do, API references, things like that. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot more videos using it. So I uh, hope that helps and I hope you have a good time playing around with Express.